Hello, and thanks for joining me. My name is Pete Canavan, and I am your personal development survival guide. I've been hosting both national and international training webinars since 2007 on a variety of topics related to personal development, including goal setting, mindset development, and the law of attraction, as well as many other topics. This training will dive into the law of success and the five essential steps that you can follow in order to achieve the success you deserve. First, a brief background. One of the greatest pioneers in the field of success and personal development was Napoleon Hill. His most famous work, Think and Grow Rich, has been around since 1937 and is based on an even earlier book, The Law of Success. This book has sold over 20 million copies worldwide and is the sixth best-selling paperback business book of all time. This first book, The Law of Success, was published in 1928 and was compiled from Napoleon Hill's research and interviews of over 500 successful men and women. When it was first published, it caused a huge uproar. The people he interviewed felt that he was giving away too much information, and so Hill revised it and re-released the edited, watered-down version as Think and Grow Rich. Even in its edited form, it is easily one of the most influential and important books on success ever written. Managing to locate a copy of this predecessor to Think and Grow Rich is nearly impossible today. If you have never read either book, I cannot stress enough the importance of doing so repeatedly as the years go by. Read it over and over and you will gain new insights and information each time you read it. The bottom line that is the overall theme of the law of success is that only by you working in harmony and in cooperation with others to create value and benefit for them will you be able to create success and achievement for yourself. So the first step in the law of success and the very first step you must do before moving on is to embrace one very essential fact and that is we are all put on this planet to succeed. Nature does not plan for failure and we are part of nature. It is our duty and our mission to question, to learn, to become, to do, to go, to love, and ultimately to succeed. The second step, once you understand and believe that you are indeed on this planet to succeed in whatever your individual mission in life is, there is another equally important piece of information that you need to know and exploit to your benefit. There are infinite resources at your disposal and you have the ability to do anything with what is available to you and conceived within your own mind. Everyone is capable of greatness through knowledge, self-discipline, self-discovery, application of experiences, etc. You already possess all that you need in order to succeed. The critical component that you simply must have is an understanding of the laws and the methods that need to be applied in order to succeed. The law of success is as definite as any law of science and will produce results when a consistent application of the law with faith, belief, and emotion brings about a greater future for you. You must study, plan, and take action and you will achieve success beyond your wildest dreams. Step number three, it all starts with you. Decide to be successful. Strange as it may seem, many people sabotage their own success due to a fear of succeeding. They never fully believe in their success and fail to commit to making the necessary sacrifices that must be made in order to succeed. This means working when others are not, developing a never quit attitude, and learning to dispel negative thoughts and doubt. While others waste their time on non-productive activities such as watching television or going out at night, 
you must commit to investing your time on productive, focused, and specific goal-driven actions that will inevitably bring you closer and closer to the success that you are entitled to. The biggest obstacle to success is your own mind. Step number four, write down your goals. Goals must be written. Simply having them in your mind or thinking about them occasionally will not work. On a recent survey I conducted, I gave five choices to answer the following question. Do you have written goals for the next year? The answers were enlightening and disappointing. 4% of the respondents said, I haven't thought about it much. Really? Not too serious. 12% said, I've thought about it, but I don't know where to start. Well, I don't understand that because there's absolutely an amazing amount of information out there on goal setting. 12% simply said no. Well, why not? 19% said sort of. Well, what does that mean? It's essentially another no. 26% over a quarter of the respondents said they had goals. Yes, they had them, but they were not written down, which as I just mentioned is essentially another no, because goals must be written. And then another roughly quarter of the respondents said, yes, specific written ones, which is absolutely great. You are on your way. So what does that mean? It means that three out of four people do not have written goals. Do you? Step number five, be disciplined with how you handle your money. Every time you receive money, you should divide it up into five different accounts. One, put 10% in your financial freedom account and never spend it so you have it for your retirement. You contribute to it regularly and spend only the interest if absolutely necessary. The second account, you would put 10% into a long-term savings for spending account that you can use for major unexpected purchases, such as you know a washing machine, a hot water heater, maybe a major expense on your vehicle, something like that. Another 10% you put into your personal development account to buy books and CDs and courses, etc. Because if you're not growing, you're dying. You need to learn something every day, and this is how you succeed. You also would put 10% into a play account. This is your spending money for going to concerts, movies, going on vacation, etc. Because you have to play in order to stay healthy. Next, put 5% into a give account for donating to causes which are important to you. Because giving back is a powerful ally in the journey to achieving success. And many successful people are very disciplined about maintaining and contributing to a cause that is near and dear to them. And by giving back, you will naturally receive even more in return. And then the balance, or 55% of your money, is what you would use for your daily expenses, such as your rent or your mortgage, car payment, you know, electric bill, heat, etc. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this training on the five steps of the law of success. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at bestsuccesstraining.com for more free training videos on a wide variety of both personal and business topics.